this one off soon. So All we right. can get in and actually get a look at Holy this Holy fuck. It's God. literally a tower. It does look gorgeous. You've done a fantastic job here. Thank teams. you. That's Me awesome. and our entire team. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how What is this angle? Here on B site. Yeah, taking a look at the minimap. I mean, it's going to be a full B push here, it seems, from the attacker. Slide forward. Loving the aggression already. Wait, what the right, fuck? Well, it's like a bridge. So some blinds, but I mean, as the defenders here. So oh my god, there's so oh, much verticality on this map. Little wingman did the little jump across that skill jump you were talking about. Oh, well, we did. Planting the bomb back site. The wingman can jump over the gaps. Yes, that is correct. Oh shit. Well, that is incredible. It is absolutely adorable. Now just two players left. One How do you think remaining. this map fares so far? Does it seem fairly balanced? Oh, your plate wait. As far as like attacking, there's a side? you can Very jump right there. Uh, from what we've seen, yeah, you see that? So slightly defender uh, sided. You can jump on that general, edge. When we do launch a map, our maps always start out a little defender sided, um, and as people learn how to attack, it kind of evens out over time. Yeah. yeah. So we saw this map looks uh, so different, no? That the that they're playing the like they're I haven't seen this behind game. where the, the skill jumps are. That makes it pretty difficult for the defenders to try to get rid of where they're hanging out. They're like the attackers. Ah! Yeah, yes. Like, yeah, I was going to say, too, like B-side, like we actually give two towers on both sides. So uh, players on the top <laughs> it actually, and defender It actually, actually looks like a TDM that, map, so it's a really no? Critical part of the map to I feel like I'm going to accidentally fall off. Or defend it yeah. I can see that from you. Another B hit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> so, one thing about this what, map, what is this, a lot of what is this site? Um, we'll see a lot more of them oh. in mid, but B is pretty open. Um, and like Al said, we have the two nests, Heaven, and then in B main, there's another nest. And it allows people to kind of fight over smoke. So, that was one of the uh, gameplay intentions from our designer, Joey Seamus. The uh, offers are going to have so much fun sure that you can Wait, uh, look at middle. Smoke, what the fuck is that? Oh, you know what I mean? On the minimap. So we've given our players multiple opportunities to execute site. Well, hopefully, they'll go to the other side so we yeah, can get another, you know, a look at the different part <laughs> of this map. I'm so excited map. for A site. Yeah, B's nice. Yeah, we might have to have the, <laughs> if they don't do it, we'll have to have the admin step in and say, please just show us yeah, the I'm a little <laughs> biased. I worked on B site, so I'm like, keep going there. I like it. <laughs> Oh, look at that oh. tree. That's gorgeous. Got a little Radionite tree here. Yeah, this is a very lower heavy map, so that's, that's a really nice that, looking like, tree. So, like, part of the Radionite secrets of the science of Hourglass. Yeah, we really had to investigate what does the Radionite effect look like on different natural elements. So, you see what? the in the distance that you mentioned. What is middle? Oh, oh, a little Do you in see here. middle? What? There's and a door there? As well. oh, so, this leads you God. right into. This is going to be the worst heaven. map ever. What the okay, fuck? So door, vent to just be able to cut what am I looking at? Exactly. What? He's planning yeah, on the so bridge! The what the fuck? Thanks, Gives you a lot of leverage. They planted on the and bridge! You the, the, the jet held their space bar to drift towards that rope. Is that necessary on that jump or no. did you just make that? You can make it as long as you press F. Okay, got <laughs> is this is real life? Am I dreaming? <laughs> Should I pinch oh, myself? Clean. What the fuck is this? The players left standing and that's going to be Team China getting themselves on the board and showing us a, a lot more of the map than what we had seen in the those previous map? two rounds. Yeah, and as anticipated, we're seeing those very fast, quick plays, high risk, high reward. You can now, what if plant you on the fucking bridge. And you have the, let's say you have the spike and you fall off the map. Oh, so that's a really good question. Yeah. So, like, it's actually not possible if you have to lose a the spike. On this map you definitely you want them masses off. to lose yeah. the yeah. spike. Yeah, they just get sent off the map. It will yeah. always immediately spawn where it fell off. That's excellent. Nice. Um, same goes for bodies, so resing. If a body falls off yeah. the map, you can I'm imagining a raise is going uh, against the bridge. And then guns as and then well. So if you're trying to play that eco round, and then the uh, make sure you're not shooting someone back on the edge and losing that ammo. Right? Yeah, I'd be mean, like, eating the bridge. op off the edge so Achilles can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I wouldn't, and then I wouldn't be able to carry you in well, the game. Okay, come on so. now. Yeah, well, you, uh, you yeah. play raise with an op, and you don't use your satchels. Another B-side hit. I... Kaede, what the fuck am I looking at? I'm sorry, I'm I starting to see why that, yeah, that mobility is so very important, but this is a great shot. I'm going to turn on the stream a little bit, chat. I don't think we need the comps too much at the moment. Like, on, on this. Just as they're, like, talking about the map. Um, okay, first impressions of the map, what, what do you think, chat? So far, being able to play around it, being able to peek over top. I don't know. So just giving you some more angles of approach rather than just keeping a team um, locked in place because of that smoke. Yeah, this looks like a straight TDM like map. You guys are used to seeing maps like uh, Ascend B-Side. Like as soon as a smoke usually hits a choke point, it's completely cut off. Might like be fun. Intentional 
on this map for both A and B side, a single smoke cannot completely cover an entry point. Plus, we give you those skill jump opportunities so that there are I do like ways to actually get the one thing I do like but is very high risk, high how the map is kind of like brawly, so backs. to say. And we're we're seeing a part of the map here that I'm really yeah. curious. What about am I looking? It looks like a crossfire map. Like, what is this? What was some of the thought process into making it that? I'm way? so yeah, confused. So, that's also really so this is very lurk heavy for men. Uh, it is intentionally designed. You go all out, or you go home. Yeah, and it's, cool. and it's designed for um, these aim duels. <laughs> like that. Yeah, ones that uh, right now Team China getting the better of. Yeah, oh. lurk out of B main up into this little corner. Yeah, in ranked it'll be yeah, fun. Uh, Joey was telling us it's really hard to sneak by here. In so pro play, I might cry. Through mid, you probably want to stack, but. Controlling mid is super important because it does branch out multiple ways into both sides. Uh, yeah. Dude, mid is like so open. I don't understand. Yeah, this might be a uh, this might be a W gaming map. This might be Paper X's best map. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that we're gonna have wait, I think wait, this might be a double duelist map. Wait, actually, it might be the best map in the game. Hold on, double duelist might be back. My favorite map in the entire game. I love it. Oh, so you see him on top of that box in A main, so this is a really good way to look over that smoke. Oh, watch this. And here he goes with the TP on the bridge. Oh my god. Wait, what exactly the fuck? What Wait. See. Oh, the you see this shit? Oh my god. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, you know what's crazy? exactly what we want to see from this map. That is so sick. Dude, I feel bad for the. That is so um, hard to pull. It looks like it's challenging to pull the off. People who watch the game. Like, a little bit. Like, yeah, it's 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 a little I mean, you saw the team play. You yeah. can't do this solo. Like, what do you, mean? you have the defender like sitting the, on site. Oh, the. the um, uh, I, I know what you mean. Well. The people that, like, really follow the POVs. Observers. Yeah, observers. Oh my god, they're gonna wait, wait, hold on, I have a phone call. Other, you know, agents oh. can really kind of make a similar maneuver to that. I mean, I would Hi? say Ray's blast packing. Yep. Oh, oh, Kaplan? Okay. Uh, no, I'm playing Omen on this map too? Fuck! God damn it! So, I'm tired of this shit. That was just made. You are able to make from a site wait, why do you have main? so much so energy right now? Look at what I'm looking at, Cardi. Right. Um, but not the other way around. Yeah, I have fun playing pro in this. Fuck. I quit. Bro. Wait, that's that's actually crazy. You have to defuse off of that little point. Yes. God, that is goofy. <laughs> so, goofy. really cool pointing out here, too. Uh, they planted uh, right on that bridge. A uh, super popular plant site. Something we didn't get to talk about, too. We really intentionally didn't want um, the, death, uh, the death drops to be super frustrating. So, the majority of map actually Ooh, has... actually... Wait, orders, no, 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 so no. This map has too many funnels. Like I'm actually looking at it from, like, a, a, like a straight-up... Uh, like, a more... Bridge, um, one of them. Again, what's the word? Really worth planting the spike there if you can get away with it. I'm trying to strategically look at the map right now. And it looks like, oh, it looks like the map has every choke point is like a funnel. Like everything is a funnel. So I don't accept mid. Mid is like weird because it's really, really open for all playground. But to go into a main, it is literally a funnel. And so it just kind of. I think this map is less of a like a an info map. I'm really curious about just Wait, what do you say, Kaiden? Once this gets into the hands of you know yeah. professionals, yeah. because this is the way that this seems the very exactly heavy. Map. Uh, oh, you know what? You can very, you know, throw them just, off. Wait, this is actually this is here in this tournament, but no, also from no, no, other squads no, no. in the past. I'm curious to see how this is going to look. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, oh, that was almost play. really cool. Big spell. He pulled it off the opposite time. He sees it coming. Actually, no, this might be a breach map. I'm looking at how it actually is a breach map, 100%. The, the way middle is and the way that the stuns work and just having flashes, I think having flashes and stuff is just going to be really strong this map. I think Aster would be kind of nice, but I think Omen's just better overall. because Omen's better for the playmaking special. This map is like a wet dream for Omen. I'm just curious what the balance is. I'm actually like salivating just looking at how many stuff I can TP on top of. A collection of agents, a team that is going to be Able to just go for really nice, really nice executes, and I think that something like 
Neon, Neon, Chet, Neon, Yoru, with a, with a breach in play. I'm just, all these things are coming to my mind right now, and it seems like the possibilities are damn near endless. Hey, you know, for Showmatch, they're having a lot of fun so with confused. the Aegis and the Epic here. They're really showing off a lot of those mobility things that they were rehearsing. And, and I wonder what the with, meta on this, um, but, you know, this lot mask is going to be like 70 wise. Like, it's not going to be like, Cypher, that's for sure. Deadlock. Pushes with your Vipers, with your Harbors, with your Deadlocks. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm I, really I excited think to see like, what meta develops if might be it, at least for Turret, you know what I mean? Because there's so many places you can push from. I won't lie, this map looks like anti lurk. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does look anti lurk. So it probably be really fun in ranks. Um, with her way. wall, you can block uh, off some very peculiar angles. So it's, so like, it looks yeah, like Breach is going to be insane on this map. Yeah. That you do. You could wall that Breach, off really Omen, and have to shoot, shoot Raze like, for sure. Pull pieces of her wall Either Raze or Neon, one of the two. I was also yeah. gonna ask about I'm, uh, Neon actually looks pretty good for both the sites. Gecko's pretty solid too, actually. I think the W initiative is going to be on but. Is there a way to like, like what do you think? pass that? Wait, what do you say? I don't want to spoil it. Actually, I'm really interested. I'm thinking double like, duelist. Players come up with. Okay. Okay. It actually looks like a double duelist map. If there was a double duelist map, it'd be this one. I am really. Is this one of the angles that you need to clear though? Yeah. yeah. You know? Like this new kind of paradigm in our map. I actually think Jet Ray is going to be pretty good on this map. Going on. I'm just so enthralled with the map. <laughs> or like. Who's <laughs> winning? Jet definitely looks like it. It's, Jet it's could find on this map. It's been a bit back yeah. and forth. They're battling out. Um, now, of course, with the ability to just drop off the side of the map, because obviously we've, we've seen... I feel like you need a double a double initiator on this, though, because the there's too many the angles set, that they can be riding, you know, whatever. especially like mid -time. Well, I'm thinking you don't even need a sentry. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think you either. This is like a running down. But one of the I don't even know what you could really work. Valorant as a strategy is, you know, maybe losing the pistol round, having just classics. You lose two players, you think and then you just sit back and wait. Oh, wait. oh yeah. Does it all play out exactly the same if you just this is an op map go into sure. one of the drops? There's so many enemies. That's a good so. question. I think for Ecos, we actually do see a lot of like mid fights. If you like five men hit it, typically you'll only have one defender there. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, to keep it safe, and you get a lot of map control by doing that, so like you can get right into their spawn. Doesn't it actually look like at middle you're watching a TDM game? Yes. Uh, Doesn't look like Valorant. Like so. Um, so, yeah. It feels so fast play, like fast pace. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you up real quick. There's a lot of angles and things like that to utilize. One second cut. Yeah, it's also... I think team play is like Kaide, yep. really, really required for this because of all the long range fights. Yeah, and I know it's really exciting. Like, you know, this is the first, first round of no That's boundaries. It has death drops, weapons kind of fall off, you know, Sage can't rest, bodies that fall off the pit. But, you know, it's really important to uh, make sure players Sage know that, like, nerf? the core design of the map is still very traditional. What do you mean? It's really it's really got two sites. It's got that Sage main. can't res, bodies that fall off. That players practice day in and day out. Still super important. That's not a Sage nerf. But again, that extra layer. Sage nerf? excited to see how players are going to surprise us with some of their, uh, some of their clutch plays. Now, we said that the, you know, the spike, if it falls off the side of the map, that just comes right back up. I'm assuming that since we do have geckos in play, I haven't noticed if it's happened yet. If you were to accidentally send Dizzy off over the side of the map, is he just falling into the abyss? No, he's going to... It's gonna, gone. Yeah. It's gone. It's okay. Gone well, apparently no, the bodies just come back like a spike. Be a bit more careful with your lineup. It's going to have to study... No, no. I think if someone takes him, just launch it off. The, 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 the map dev said that you, you can't res bodies that fall off. Utility. Um, and that's what that's what we mean when we mention like we want our players to think a little bit. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this site in particular. Adding this extra dimension of gameplay, this extra consideration they have to make with every execute, every play. Uh oh! Here oh my God! Parkour! Yes. What the fuck? We did it! We got it! We got the shot! We got it! Slicky and shambles! Oh my God! <laughs> and honestly, this, this what? plant back side is. He got moves. Main, forcing your opponents to jump across the uh, the skill jump here. Oh, oh. It's a very easy way to catch them off guard. Wow. Well, next one not getting caught by the thrash, but does get a nice headshot there from Dan King. So, wait, Dan King kind of clean with it. Get this. Two v two for the retake. Oh, they got the wingman. Yeah, he's on it. Oh, cleared off. Oh. Oh. Bold swing. Seems like international. <laughs> the molly went nowhere. <laughs> like I mentioned, yeah. this B main hold is extremely powerful. All right. Incredible. So there's, we're talking a lot about like things that can happen when you drop off, but there's, there's a lot of ways to avoid it. We saw the Omen TP earlier. One thing I do like, like about this map though, Kaide, is of it use, looks like you uh, actually have to play the post plants. The map or, you know, oh! <laughs> <laughs>
And somebody fell. <laughs> he forgot to jump. That happens. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've oh, my God. Yeah, this is the most like non-Valorant S the game experience. No, no. This is the most Valorant game I've ever seen. Most Valorant map ever. One of the most viable reses on the map. He can do the run it back. Again, you know what's funny? I'm either going to hear that you love this map or hate this map for the next few uh, months of my life. Yeah. This is how it always is. is that, like, like, if he loves the game, he's like, he's so happy. I'm more laughing just because of how ridiculous the map is. Wait, do you get access to the map, by the way? At 8 a.m. tomorrow? I think I do, yeah. You want to play? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be playing. Those, because I mean, last round of the half. Wait, you're not waking up at 8 a.m. I'll wake oh, up at eight. It's not looking good here. Fuck it, we ball. I'm it's down. I'm to be on my team though. I'm not playing. I'm not. I'm only playing if you're against me. Yeah, Omen is such a I'm kidding. Great agent to play on this map. He's got so much great opportunity. Wait, are, are we doing? Are we doing ten mans? Is that what it is? Seems like he is very okay. much not going. Like very much just staying. He is not going anywhere. It would seem. But I'm curious to see how it's going to combine in with, you know, other controllers as you were talking about since, you know, yeah. you know Viper in the, in the mix. Do people want to play Astra Brimstone? Yeah. You, said, you know, one smoke, that can't lock off an entry to the site, but two smokes can. Yeah, and, you know, and we're, all, we're just talking about the agents that are available now. Like, one really exciting thing, like we talked about, like, we're getting even more collaborative, like, people across the team, agents teams, uh, our skins team. When you think about like maps like this, like what are the opportunities for agents in the future? I'm actually pretty, I'm actually really excited about what can happen, uh, you know, in future lineups. My anticipation, oh, personally, shit. I'm seeing the Viper and then a dome smoke potentially, just because the that B main not being able to dome smoke. Wait, it is, oh uh, fuck! Pretty rough. It's a harbor <laughs> map. No. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, again. He's gone down again. <laughs> We're forgetting to jump again. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Again, high risk. No, that's high actually risk, me. Not gonna no lie. <laughs> I don't think no it, I don't think there should have been that much risk in that one, to be honest. That was that was by choice for sure. And, and that like definitely Al made said, me laugh. Like we have all these ankle borders. Everything's intentional. We want we don't want this to feel frustrating at all. This is just adding an extra dimension of the gameplay because our players keep raising that bar. Right. Yeah, I don't think that that's that could be frustration at the map. Oh. Just frustration at your <laughs> not pressing the space bar. But yeah, <laughs> that's user error right there. <laughs> I'm able to trade one back. Oh, is, oh, oh yeah, okay, you can't play Yoda on this map. The TP is just a launch off. Oh, I love the way that. Yeah, so using the dizzy to cross there is really smart. Oh. I don't know. Uh, Yoda is a really good jump. dueler. Yeah. 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 And this map's a dueling map. Interesting. Starting to get away from him. It's all on Mixwell. Yeah, I call it with you, Jill. But yeah, I'm loving I'm loving the approaches up. that we're seeing. It's it's so neat to see because it's just so unlike anything that we've had. We got for grand finals, Team Heretics. But like you said, it's still like it doesn't feel <laughs> um, that different, but it is still very different. Yeah, I yeah, think it's so hard. If the if the game goes to like five maps, really I think Team Heretics takes it. But if Genji can sweep them early on. Uh, with their map advantage, play, except we're just adding this extra. Uh, it's advantage. hard. Yeah, and I was gonna say too, like. Oh no, Heretic's been playing like really well lately. Players, yeah, you're right. Social today. Um, Luke's gonna be deceiving too. Like the, yeah, the game yesterday was so boring to watch. It was a quick 3-0. It kind of gives us uh, this idea that it's a huge map. It is not overly big. Um, you know, every new map takes time to learn, but we're really hoping that players will pick up the layout on this. And as you can see too, like action happens immediately. I mean, they're going past that barrier and executing on site, and we get straight to the action. Which I've never seen a team lose now so many 2v5s round, in my life. Uh, team play, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. I'm hoping to see. Let's see if this works out for them. Oh, oh falling from the angle. Does fall, fall apart, do they the just go to the side? for this one. Spotted, I mean, they're just gonna wide swing him, so he's got a back pedal. They haven't taken a sight yet. The blind. Oh. Okay, looks like they're holding oh. it down. Mixwell not going to be able to jump off the is side. Uh, is this an attack or defense sided? You see how it's funny? I'm, I'm thinking that in the head. A lot of times in our play tasks, you can actually I think like it's probably attack. Attack? Yeah, it's looking yeah, like attack plus. Like in a 1v1, and I just like if you have a good offer, I think that it could be like pretty even. It's hard to say, really. I think this is one map that you could actually attack up. Uh, a lot. I have a question. Yeah, no, 100%. Hopefully you can answer it for me. <coughs> um, but you were talking about the, you know, the increased collaboration that you have between the different teams. Do they, do you ever have somebody on the, like, the agent side come to you guys and be like, hey, 
you put something like this into a map because we have an idea for an agent on this end, or is that fairly separated? I, I will say opportunities to do that are growing. I mean, like, we're always really careful, really intentional. I'm going like to turn this up. Like I want to hear this. Like, gameplay mechanics in maps. I'm actually curious. Agents team does the same thing. What if you throw um, the spike out of the map? Then you have to throw yourself off the map to chase the spike. Really exciting, exciting agents come out with, like, kind of new outdoor abilities. And kind of, like, again, talking about, like, we've had three what we call core maps, which were really straightforward. Um, the hooks weren't really heavy. This is kind of back to that experimentation of seeing if we can add that layer to really excite players. Um, but yeah, um, uh, and see the future. Put, put this map and more, Fracture so in the same map pool, and my brain is cooked. I actually like Fracture. So I don't know. This gonna gonna map looks like a big infight at mid. Every nook and cranny. Yeah, wink, wink. Like they showed it in the uh, cinematic, but like you know, you see, we see a lot of shots of like uh, defenders holding that the top. Oh, it's a chamber map. We actually have like. Stop it! Oh Christ! Fix. It might be. No, it won't. No, it's not. Bro, ADS sheriff every round at every long range duel with ops. Kind of and the TP like angles are actually pretty good. Yeah, so the idea is like the Fuck. of hourglass are keeping these artifacts. Oh my god, you're right. There's so the many angles. Yeah, agents, there's so uh, many in, chamber so TP <laughs> angles. It's not a secret anymore. No. Yeah, so it is kind we've like we've re-entered hell. Fuck. Yeah, like a, it's like, like a, a Bond villain or something. Yeah, so <laughs> mid is like a library. It's like where they keep all of those secrets. And then uh, B is more of this like botanical radionite research facility. They're like seeing the effects of radionite on different organic elements. And then A side is, um, how would you phrase it, Al? Oh, A side is uh, what we call uh, Radionite Lockup, yeah. where uh, particular things are kept there and hidden. Oh. That sounded <laughs> ominous. It is, yes, it is very <laughs> ominous. I wonder if we'll find out more about that in a yeah. future uh, event or something. I played yeah, like the fifth. Yeah, and like, again, this is a really low. Who plays Chamber? You are a second. Really I play Chamber on the team. It was really heavily influenced by like uh, Los Angeles. Wow. This one, we got to do a lot of stuff on our own. I don't think I've ever seen aggression like this into be main. This map is Pearl, but I mean, you mentioned bigger? No. no. That yeah, that, it does that not look like Pearl at all. I'm curious about the influence for this map. You know, was there anywhere regionally that came to mind when you were designing? Because Pearl was like, yeah, actually, oh, was like really go get the plant, plan. everyone fall back, and then now play Spam Wars. This map clear, like, is anti Spam Wars. Play, like, you can't really play plant and then, like, smoke and spam. There's too much verticality and there's too much, like, open angles. Uh, like smokes don't like uh, properly work, so uh, I don't I don't think it personally looks like that, that which is good. I, I really dislike that. Like, this is supposed to be a secret base for this secret faction of the side of Iroclass, right. so it is in a really remote location. But again, what was really excited about where's this, this map base, located? The architecture is new I actually don't know. New lore. It is very, uh, uh, yeah. very <laughs> If you were to I'm guess, actually, where would you think this map is from? On a different path a little bit here. What's the name I, of it again? Oh, this is kind of a question for you. I'm super curious about, like, uh, Abyss. how do you guys think about Abyss. the layout Here it is, of the map? here it is. Oh, are we going to, oh, they're okay. hiding, they're hiding. Okay, hold on. He's rope lurking with a bucky. <laughs> the rope is, it, with a bucky is an interesting place. <laughs> yeah, is just laughing. They're miles away. <laughs> oh, they're just, like, walking into B side. He's going to have to I don't even know. Try I'm trying to think. I respect the gamble. I respect the gamble. Bro, it doesn't even look like anywhere so in the world. Reward, He's sitting there. <laughs> not being rewarded for Wait, maybe it. it's a it's called it's abyss because it's literally in the abyss. Yeah, maybe it's like in nowhere. Like yeah. Okay, so when you think about you gotta you know you gotta actually kind of kind of looks like Canada. Layout, how do you think about like some of the things you're looking just just think about it hard like, enough. Where are you going case, like, in really Canada? Event, looks like um, this, Tyson. Where are you not going in Canada? That looks like this. Form in your head. How do they come to fruition? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a really good question. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Actually, a lot of times folks will ask us, you know, like, does, like, the narrative, the story of the episode or, like, things we want to do in the Valve universe really affect, like, the layout of the map? And actually, I'll be honest, the answer is... They're, um, it really on the... Oh, the gameplay, ask right? chat like, to, look, to uh, type really the coordinates in, in on the YouTube video on the cinematic blocks, right? for the map and on Twitter uh, and watch, at the beginning when right. it says Abyss, you hear coordinates. Oh, no, that's a third. What are opportunities, what are, what's feedback we're getting from players? And also just like, what are just fresh new ideas that like our design team, uh, you know, All right. the team- Chat, the where is there, it's in Norway? Just try to find the right Someone said Norway. And again, Norway? very heavily. Sure. I will share with this map, I mean, this map at one point had 
like even more extreme verticality. It had things like jump pads and crash pads. So you can go like very long distances. Oh, okay. uh, and we even had like harder trick jumps. We had Wait. platforms that were like, I like, like half a meter. Tiny. Yeah, very tiny. Right, again, right, lots right, of right. play testing. Lots Wait, of how dangerous is Norway? You can just fall to your uh, death everywhere. For, like, design principles for map. Many and, places? Uh, have you seen the mountains? Again, again, super excited to see how players Do they have map. crazy mountains? Um, and to clarify, the crash mm -hmm. pads actually... Oh, I did not know that. Any fall damage. Mm -hmm. So we had, like, these jump pads... <laughs> hey, he used the TP for that. <laughs> I actually really want to go to Norway. Yeah, we should go to Thai. ...to align a bit more with our core maps instead. Oh. And then, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then hopefully not be too punishing, yes. One of the things that I like that we have seen more times than I expected yes, is, way more. is kind of just like, you know, where you hit the, uh, where you actually hit the depth when you're when you're falling off oh, the yeah. side of the map, what that oh, limit yeah, is. Yeah. So it seems like you have a decent amount of time to try to react. Like if you're playing Jet, something like that, you actually... I can totally to totally see myself to just like, off. like if I played ranked instantly. and someone yeah. tilted yeah. me, yeah. I it's would just immedially seconds, jump right? off the map in retaliation. Like once you fall off, if you don't have any uh, uh, movement... Tyson, uh, just imagine uh, the throwers uh, in this uh, game. Right. Yeah, that's going to be me. That so sad. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 They, didn't, they didn't take damage oh, from their own shock dart, at least, but... Oh, Mercy now. of time. <laughs> it's two rounds away here for Team International. This went by pretty quickly. It's been, yeah, Her hair looks really good. Good. It feels like this defender side, they're, they're finding their groove a little bit more, but this oh, yeah. nice wraparound. Early fights, that early aggression, the risk that they're taking makes for a very riveting map. And then Shoot. disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I can't wait to see that, you know, the, the first week or the first couple days, especially <laughs> of this map coming out, all the clips that are going to be compiled. Yeah. Posted online. Oh no, this map looks kind of fun actually. Losing their minds. And if people are wondering if you can plan on the edge of B site and you've got a breach on the post plan, you can totally have multiple yeah, agents off the edge. Off the map. Seems like maybe everyone will just firm handshakes and agree not to play breach on this. <laughs> no, or just if you know the Rolling Thunders online, don't go to B. <laughs> maybe makes them a little bit more readable, but good fight back. Thinking is kind of cold. Yeah, well, you can see. How yeah, he used to be. He used to be a uh, Counter Strike pro. Oh right? shit! Neon gets so far up there. Do you have early access? I think I do. Yes. For, so I think I'm playing the map tomorrow. <laughs> Updraft peak. Oh. Almost fine in it. Really solid yeah, the learning curve is going to be kind of insane on this. I feel like I'm going to fall off, this like, like for a you lot. When they kind of give you, you know, like, the gray box. When they say, yeah. like, this is the map that we have. What is, like, the first couple steps of... The trick is, out, on like, the first day of the map launch, the look of fall off the map as um, much as possible. Yeah, I mean, as a 3D artist, so you don't do it as much anymore. You have fantastic concept artists. We start out You overcompensate, and then you you tone it back. Uh, the sky's the limit. They could do whatever they want. Jet knives are going to go crazy on this map. And we do not want to limit them on their creativity. It feels like, like sometimes with Jet, when you updraft, you just bump your head on okay, stuff. But like, look like, I feel like there's nothing to bump your head on. Into consideration, trying to fit all their, all their ideas into there. Oh my god, um, it's going to work. The rope work. Come in. Yep. It might pay off. Oh, there's oh, nice help with this. Yes. <laughs> but now he's got to get out. <laughs> might need some assistance to get out yeah, of this he's position. Got, he's got the teammate holding him there. <laughs> I can see the panic and the movement. This is incredible. <laughs> what if he satcheled off? I mean, this is exactly what exactly. we wanted to see. How baller the show would that match. be? Right. It could maybe just, you know, blast pack, jump off back. That is ult as well. Get out of it oh, a couple he's, he's different he's ways. Oh, is he going to rocket? Again, it's really hard to sneak by in mid. You've got to commit. And you, and that smoke covers all the way into the vent. Too, oh, vents. So that's really nice to bail your team out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mentioned that. Like, that yeah, detach satchel into uh, a satchel animation, cancel double rocket. Limiting that information, getting the early info in mid is so important. So can you clove all if you fall off the map? No, I don't think you back, can. Back of mid or a fade eye um, can make all the difference for your team. Have there been any harbor enjoyers like trying out some things with like the high tide and stuff like that on this map? Trying to um, actually, our game analysis. I don't feel like there's as many corners on this map that you have to clear compared to other maps. Uh, what do you What do you think? 
Maybe it's just because I'm like trying to fight this one back. This one back. Observing it right now. I think that. Like that bridge right there is penable, so I don't know. Okay. I think there is because there's the off okay, match. Yeah, here's a, here's oh no no sorry. Less 50-50 angles where you have to like about. choose to clear one angle over the Not other. Really, oh for sure no. It's very like narrow like a no single way path. Yeah. 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 Which is nice. There's a few. Hopefully it's nothing like Lotus only because I feel like Lotus has a lot of those close quarters fights. Like people are right behind that wall that you're spamming. Here we're getting those really long range fights, so we're anticipating more operator. We're maybe the guardian, guardian even. Yeah. Building up in popularity. Okay. Um, uh, but can't say for way. sure um, until the players get their hands on it. Again, we keep saying like I, I cannot wait for uh, players to get the map and yeah. see how it surprised us. Um, I was here two days ago and yeah, uh, Lotus plus no Odin. Oh, no. That was pretty serious. <laughs> that was rough to watch for sure. <laughs> well, long range meta. I. I quite like that so i'm a big fan personally breeze used to be my my favorite map i was like arena main um so i was all about those aim duels so mid is a haven for me you told me you were a chamber main Reina, well, was Reina the first love and then chamber yeah, was the other one as they nerfed my agents i yeah. move on you know what i mean I, then i became an astro main and then they took my star away <laughs> i'm loving this so i'm a neon main so i love the uh, neon action on the show man. well oh. speaking of the neon like China, they're gonna bring this back. Just maybe one round separating. So oh, it's not, quite huge. Break. not could have been. This is a close one. A, a, a true nail biter we have here. And then most of the boxes on both bomb sites are penable, so that should bring some interesting mm. gameplay. Are there any other walls to look out, maybe around mid or anything like that, that might be penable that? Players should consider. Not that we know of. Not that you know of. <laughs> Usually our <laughs> players discover those ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll we see try our best. Yeah, if you check this time after oh. the match, I would love to show you some really cool one ways that uh, our lead designer showed Yes, please. Shows. Yes. I love that. Oh, let's go. Yeah, if you want a little pro tip, that, that jump up that you do, if you actually smoke that off, that really affects the attackers. Like, jumping across without seeing where you're going oh so, flying. so smoking that for post plan is a really good way to counter um, sure. that like uncomfortable situation yeah that seems like something especially like really early on or oh. just very much, like, in ranked uh to take advantage of in the early days we eat the know, same we'll, snack yeah, this like, thing the snack is really, really good goaded methodical rhythm knowing so where good. you're going you know you look at some players you could probably navigate a map blindfolded because they've just right, made it right. so many times but in ranked, very different story. So that's a really good. Yeah, I realize. What about uh, uh, Clove? Clove. If, if you harbor all one of the jump up spots, you, still use their smokes. you cannot. Oh, you yeah. cannot. Like if you harbor oh, wall, you just, you if someone smoke, tries to run through the harbor wall and make work. the jump, yeah. they will yeah, always that, fall this, because of the movement speed reduction on the slope, on the wall. If that were the case. Yeah, and same thing for Sage too. Like you can res a body that's out of the gameplay space. Right. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think we just saw Dizzy fall down into the this pit. This is a really good little camp corner. Oh. Rarely cleared. The box is actually, that box as well is penable, so you okay. could clear that by penning through it as you're executing, which I highly recommend. <laughs> well, they don't get overly punished by it. This is looking like this is going to be going to the distance here. Yeah, against the eco. 11-11. Holy shit. The Chinese Omen player is putting in work. Yeah. Do you know any of the Chinese people other than the um No, I do not. Yeah, the jiggle peeking here. The only one I know is Dan King from Counter-Strike. Like the name looked really familiar to me. Yeah, I mean seems like a you're talking about long range targeting sniping and I'd you know, if you can really get that snowball and force your opponents onto onto ecos, onto half armors, it feels like the outlaw very much could thrive. But one of the other things that I'm curious to see is going to be, you know, how quickly can you get on top of the outlaw to try to punish it? Because it is just that that two-shot weapon. And if they're going to be posted up in mid, there's a lot of routing options. Yeah. That's true. And honestly, with um, the the long-range areas that you do typically fight with those weapons are easily dome smoked. So it's not going to be like the the op is overpowered or anything like that. There is a, there is a good counter. Oh, wait. All right, let's see this hit. Stack. They're taking the time, but Ooh. spotted. Obviously, some of the boxes you're talking about is oh, noted, but now way is cleared. Another run it back to try to open up the site even more. I can see Gecko on this map, 100%. Oh, this is looking like this is going to end up going Team China's way. Yeah. Five players alive. Gecko with Great one more flash agent. 
with like double duelists and a smoke. Tom's home team advantage. Yeah, right. I don't even think he needs Senti. <laughs> Fair point. I don't know what Senti could really do here to be honest. I don't know. KJ? Yeah. Money wise, money wise, looking great yeah. here for international. Oh, oh, wow, he won that. Wow. Oh, so often we see the lurkers in that, those positions. Oh, God. You know, getting the body. And not be able to hold their ground, but dropping. <laughs> I'm being able to make it happen. So now match point. Yeah, See if we get any any other new little unique features here in this potentially last round. Yeah, even though you're able to lurk a little bit on this map, like you distract everyone on site, you have that one guy going mid. Um, defenders still have multiple positions like this where they can hold you and kind of be prepared for that. Uh, one thing I want to ask about, we, since we don't have any of these agents in here are like the traditional uh, sentinels. Like yes. Cypher, like Killjoy. Uh, how have they played? Doesn't he just run chamber? Uh, that could work too. Um, so far, I think there's been a. You could technically run a single duelist like, you know, chamber like with ability. double initiator um, those, those trips and controller. Really yeah, I don't know what what Sentis um, would really do. Can be incredibly punishment punishing. Um, the the cipher well. trip angles don't really uh, look that great, in my opinion. Heard, Deadlock is incredibly strong on this one, actually. Really? Oh, yeah, 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 that wall strong. can hold down a lot of space. Plus one to Cypher though too, especially if you're worried about Neon on the yeah. other team. Like having those trips in like key locations right. can, uh, no pun intended, really trip around. Oh yeah, of course, if it's near a jump and you're trying to get over there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and like I mentioned, um, getting that early information in oh, mid, All of the, all uh, the players here are like Immortal Plus, right? That, uh, Cypher cam, uh, to try and see what's uh, going no. on there. Makes sense. Are there Cypher... Are close here. Are they not? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's it another time, but... Team China in front of